Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In part 1, I briefly explained the topics of heat, work, and internal energy. In today's video, I'm going to pick up where I left off and provide some examples too. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like down below if you go on to enjoy the video, and make sure you're subscribed as well so you don't miss any new videos. So let me start off by drawing our system and surroundings. So this is the system. And of course, it's surrounded by the surroundings. Together, these constitute the universe. Now, in the last video, I mentioned how heat can change internal energy. For instance, if the system loses 50 joules of energy to the surroundings in the form of heat, what is the change in internal energy? Well, we lost 50 joules. So the change is just negative 50 joules. Easy, right? Now let's try work. If the surroundings do 70 joules of work on the system, what is the change in internal energy? Well, if the surroundings did 70 joules of work on the system, then the internal energy of the system went up by 70 joules because that system gained energy. So the change would be positive 70 joules. That's also pretty easy. Now here's where it gets harder. Let's say the surroundings do 100 joules of work on the system. But then the system loses 50 joules to the surroundings in the form of heat. Now, what's the change in internal energy? Well, from the work alone, we can say that the system gained all 100 joules of energy because work was done on the system. So we would say that it gained 100 joules. Now, the system also lost heat to the surroundings. So we have to take that into account as well. If we add up the numbers, positive 100 joules of work on this side and negative 50 joules of heat because it lost energy, and that's on this side, if we add those up, we get a total net change of 50 joules, which went into the system because it's positive. So what does that mean? The internal energy of the system went up by 50 joules, and that makes sense too, because more energy entered the system than the amount that left. You could represent this with an equation. Here, E represents the internal energy of the system. It's equal to the sum of Q plus W. In this case, Q is the heat that's gained by the system. And W is the work done on the system. Now, you might see the same equation differently in some textbooks, but don't worry. They may consider W to be the work done by the system, in which case this part right here would be a negative. As long as you remember the reasoning behind this and the logic behind the equation, memorizing it should not be too problematic. If you do end up using this exact formula, then note that a loss of heat from the system would be represented with a negative Q, and work done by the system would be represented with a negative W. With that being said, let's do a few practice problems. Let's say your system has 130 joules of work done on it. So 130 joules enters the system, but then the system gives away 50 joules in the form of heat. So that's heat and this is work. What is the change in internal energy? Take a few seconds to find the answer and you can pause the video if you need to. Okay, hopefully by now you've solved this question. So you had 130 joules of energy enter the system, right? So the system gained energy and so its internal energy went up by 130. Now it also lost 50 joules in the form of heat. So we're gonna subtract that. That leaves us with positive 80 joules and that represents the net change in internal energy of that system. So that's how much energy the system gained. Let's do another question. Let's say 240 joules of heat 
entered a system. And that system gave off 90 joules by doing work on the surroundings. What is the change in internal energy? Once again, take a few seconds and you can also pause the video if you would like. Okay, so let's go through this together. The system gains 240 joules in heat. So this is different from the previous questions where it was gaining energy through work. But that doesn't matter. It's still positive 240. Now, the system does work on the surroundings, which means it loses energy. So we'll write that as a loss of energy. 240 minus 90 is 150. And that's a positive number right there. So that means the system gained energy and that exact amount was 150 joules. Let's do one more practice problem. Okay, so for this final question, let's say that the system gains 360 joules in the form of heat. That amount goes into the system and in response, the system does 420 joules of work. Take a few seconds to solve this question. Okay, so hopefully by now you've paused the video, you solved it, and you have the answer. Let's go through this together. Now let's start off with heat. The system gains 360 joules in heat. So that's positive internal energy. Now it does 420 joules of work. And that work is done on the surroundings. So it loses that energy. So if we add these two up, positive 360 minus 420 gives us negative 60 joules. So what does that mean? This system lost energy, as a matter of fact, and that exact amount was 60 joules. So that's about it for this video. If you'd like to see specific videos covered next on this channel, please let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching.